Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn some of the interview questions of Java related to loop concept. What is called loops in Java, and what are the three types of loop? So looping is used in programming to implement a statement or a statement block repeatedly. If there are certain statement which needs to be repeated n number of times, then in that case we need to make use of loop concept. There are three types of loops in Java. So first one is for loop. So for loop are used in Java to implement statements regularly for a given number of time. So if you know how many times you want to repeat the statements then you can go for for loop so for loops are used when number of times to implement the statement is referred to the programmer another one is while loop so while loop is used if certain statements require being implemented regularly until a condition is satisfied so if the condition is getting satisfied till then we want to repeat the statement and if this condition gets failed then we need to come out of the loop we will see in the demo how to make use of these loops and the last one is do while loop so do while loop is similar to the while loop with an only difference which condition is examined after implementation of statement blocks thus in do while loop case statements are implemented at least one so the main difference between while loop and do while loop is that so in the do while loop a statement will be executed at least once and in the while loop a statement may not be executed at a single time let's see that let's start with the for loop let's say you want to print the numbers from 1 to 20 so what the basic way to do that is by using the println statement right we, you, you will provide this out then you will print here 1 so if you print here 1 you copy the statement 20 times and then you will paste it and make changes in the value so you will do this till 20 and then you will run the code and you will get the output as 1 2 then till 20 but it is like a repetition right you are repeating this particular statement 20 times so instead of doing that what you can do you can make use of the single statement and provide for loops so let's first understand the for loop so for for loop you need to make use of keyword for then you need to provide the brackets and three conditions are required in for loop which are deferred with the help of semicolon so you need to provide two semicolons and three statements like first year second year and third year so what is first statement first statement is like initial value so you can declare here a variable you can provide any variable name generally i is used as an iterator so i will provide here i and let's say we start from 1 so this is the first value of i and in the second statement you provide the condition so you want to print the numbers from 1 to 20 so you will start from 1 so i is equal to 1 and then you want till 20 so you want i less than 21 so it will start from 1 till 20 and each time you will increment the value of i so let's say here you provide i then plus plus so in this way you can increment the value of i by one and then you need to provide your curly braces and here you need to provide the statements that you want to execute so we want to print this out now instead of directly providing the value you will provide the value of i here so what will happen now let's run this code see we are getting the value still 20 starting from one so what is happening here so first time value of i will be 1 so 1 so 1 is less than 21 so it will go inside this for loop and it will print the value of i so value of i is 1 so we are getting here 1 after that i will be incremented by 1 now value of i is 2 so 2 is less than 21 yes it will go inside the for loop and it will print 2 next time i will be incremented by 1 so i was 2 now it is incremented by 1 so value of i is 3 so 3 is less than 21 yes so it will print i so 3 in this way it will go till 20 now it will print here 20 and then check so it will increment by 1 so it is 21 so 21 less than 21 no because 21 is equal to 21 right so here the for loop 
we are not getting inside the for loop and our code is printing only till 20. Now another case you can consider here if you want to increment if you want to start from another value let's say from 10 you want until 20 you want to print so you need to make change in the initial value so it will start from 10 now if i run this code so see it is starting from 10 now as we have provided the initial value 10 and the execution is same like it will print 10 then increment by 1 so 11 11 is less than 21 so it will print 11 so in this way you can make use of the for loop as per your requirement now let's learn the another loop which is while loop so for while loop you need to make use of keyword while and then you need to provide the condition that you want to check let's say you want to print the numbers from 1 to 20 only then you want to have the condition here while i is less than 21 and then inside this you need to provide the statement before that for while loop you need to declare your variable int i so here we have integer i then i is less than 21 initial value we will provide it to 1 and now we will print your sysout i and we will increment the value of i so i plus plus now let's run this code now see we are getting the value still 20 starting from 1 so what is happening here we have provided the value of i here now it will check the condition here 1 is less than 21 yes so it will go inside the while loop it will print 1 and then it will increment the value of i now i will be 2 so similarly it will be checked again 2 is less than 21 so it is printing 2 in the similar way till 20 so you understood the while loop right here we are checking the condition and then we are executing the statements now what if you don't increment here anything if you don't provide anything here so there is no error in the code right you are able to see it is error free now if i run this code so it is a infinite it is printing one why it is always printing one because we have provided the value of i1 and one is less than 21 it is printing one again it is executing so never this condition is going to become false it is always true so that's why it is printing this infinite number of times now what we will do we will make your 21 now so let's say i is 21 and i less than 21 so 21 is not less than 21 so the statement will not executed in this case now let's run this code so see we are not getting any output here because the while loop is not getting executed now as the condition is not getting satisfied and that was the difference between while and do while so in do while the loop will be always executed at least one if i replace this condition with do while loop let's check the do while loop now for do while loop you need to first provide a keyword do then you need to provide the statements here and after this curly braces you need to provide the while and here i will say while i is less than 21 and here you can provide the statements your semicolon and then the statements sys out and then you will print here i now let's run this code so see we are getting here 21 why we are getting this value because we have provided here the value of i 21 then we are saying do so no condition is checked directly the control or the program will enter here it will print the value of i 21 and then it will check the condition so if the condition is true again the loop will be executed if the condition is false it will come out of the loop so here 21 is not less than 21 so it is coming out of the loop here only 21 is getting print but if you make the i value as 1 then you will be able to get the values from 1 till 20 if i run this code now see we are getting repeated values of 1 because we haven't incremented anything here let me stop this code now here you need to increment the value of i because it was going in the infinite loop as we are incrementing it each time now let's see so see we are getting here the values from 1 to 20 first time i will be 1 it will print 1 then increment the value of i so it will be 2 so 2 is less than 21 so again the loop will be executed so that is the difference between the pay loops as per your requirements you can make use of them in your program now next question that we want to see is 
what is known as infinite loop explain how infinite loop is declared so we have already seen an infinite loop if you don't provide any increment or decrement statement inside the do while and while loop your code will run continuously infinite number of times an infinite loop runs infinitely and without any condition if you don't provide any condition an infinite loop may be broken by explaining any breaking logic in the statement blocks body uh, we have seen the infinite loop in while and do while let's see for the for loop also now let me remove this statement here now for the for loop if you don't declare anything just provide the empty for loop and declare here the statements let's say sys out out and here i will say hi so what is happening now this there is no condition so this for loop will be executed a number of times let me run this code so here you can see hi is getting print infinite number of times because there is no condition to stop this program now so if you want to stop it you can stop from the console by pressing this red button this will terminate your program and this will stop the program so in this way you can declare the infinite loops in java so that's it in this video we will cover another questions in next video thank you for watching